Hello, Candace. Hi, Clay. How are you? Fantastic. I hope your day is going as good as mine is. It's going fantastic. I'm a huge fan of your music, so it's an honor to speak with you this morning. <laughs> Thank you so much. Honor. I must say that I have Dreaming With My Eyes Wide Open um, in my head. I've had it in my head all night, so <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, that's great. We just we just did that song in Montana a couple nights ago, so it's, it's wonderful. Oh, did too. you really? Yes, yes. I love I love singing it to this day. Yeah. And cool I love that song. You know, thank you so much for joining me. As I mentioned, uh, it's a huge honor, and I appreciate you speaking with me this morning. Well, it's nice to be dreaming with my eyes open. You know, <laughs> today I, I feel like I am. When I was first diagnosed with with MS, you know, I, I felt anything but secure. I thought I was I was having a nightmare, not a dream. <laughs> but it's oh, I'm sure. I can say, 19 years later, um, I'm in a very good place. And uh, World MS Day is coming up, May 27th, and we're going to be doing a, a live uh, Twitter chat. Uh, at Clay Walker, so we'd love people to join us uh, for that if they if they have the time. 7 p.m. May 27th, uh, World MS Day Twitter chat. Well, you're a brilliant country music singer with numerous chart-topping hits, and you're an inspiration to all of us. Can you tell us about your latest projects? I've been working on a new record, uh, first one in three years. So we are excited to get the new music out. We'll. Uh, We'll have a new song coming out in a, in a couple of weeks, and we'll also have a new album out uh, sometime in the next few months. So very, very excited about uh, getting that new music out. I've also, um, I'm the host of Trophy Hunters TV, uh, which is on the Outdoor Channel, which I, I've enjoyed that a lot growing up in the woods, hunting and, and just, uh, you know, being a hunter gatherer, <laughs> if you will, uh, I kind of, I kind of really enjoy that that role uh, of my life, and you know, as and as a person who lives with uh, multiple sclerosis uh, for the last 19 years, um, I've partnered with Teva to be able to to bring education and awareness, um, and uh, to encourage people to start a dialogue, you know, who have MS, so they can gain all the knowledge they, they that they need, so they can do everything they can for MS. For me, I've been relapse free 17 years straight. Uh, we're touring every year. I've never missed a show. Uh, this is gonna be an incredible year for us, but it's all due to being able to manage my MS. And how have, how have you managed to achieve so much in spite of living with RMS for almost two decades? The key has been uh, first finding a, a great neurologist uh, who is an MS specialist. Um, he's helped me really formulate a game plan that uh, we, we've we been able to, you know, customize it um, as time has gone, gone by. Um, but for the most part, have stuck to one steady thing. That is, we found a, a, a medication that worked for me very early on, 17 years ago. And once we found that, uh, it, it seems like we had a really good foundation to build on. Uh, I have a pretty good diet. And I do specific exercises and stretches for MS, for spasticity and for strengthening. And that has been great for me because I'm, I'm a you know, sports person. I love golf, I love riding horses. And, and my golf game has actually improved <laughs> quite a bit. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it's improved since having MS. <laughs> Well, that's amazing because golf is one of the most difficult sports on the planet. I, don't, I won't even attempt that. <laughs> Well, and, and, and with, I, hopefully you'll come see us at a show soon so you can hear Dreaming with My Eyes Open uh, live. <laughs> well, you're actually coming uh, to Modesto. Well, that's about two hours away from me on Friday. So what are you looking forward to most on your summer tour? Um, the, the tour is, is going to be great uh, this year. It's going to be different in the sense that uh, we have a new album, which is always exciting. And two, we have a video wall behind us, which has a lot of uh, personal content you know, on the wall uh, to see during the show which uh, has, adds a whole new visual experience uh, to our live shows. That, that's been the biggest change and the, biz, the, the biggest excitement. We've worked on that for the past three or four months, uh, getting uh, that content ready to go with these, especially with the new songs. Uh, so I, I think the, the live show is, we, we've upgraded it quite a bit and uh, we'll be doing all the hits as well uh, as the new music. So if folks need to come out and feel the energy and become uh, interactive and be part of the show with us. Absolutely. And what advice can you give to someone who is newly diagnosed with MS? 
Most important thing that a newly diagnosed person can do is uh, to find an MS specialist close to them and start the dialogue and be very open with it and very real about what they're experiencing emotionally, physically, psychologically. Really express yourself and don't, don't, don't be intimidated uh, because that person is a doctor or an MS specialist. Um, even if the doctor is a bit stoic, you know, meaning not real animated, um, he's probably just, or she is just listening very intently to what you're saying. So don't be intimidated by that. Get, get out what you need to say. And, uh, you know, I hope people will, will, will visit our Twitter chat on uh, World MS Day, which is, again, May 27th um, at 7 p.m. Central Time. You can uh, watch the dialogue between myself and Dr. Singer, who is an MS uh, specialist, and and patients who are trying to get questions answered from us. I think you could learn a lot from that. Well, thank you so much, Clay. We really appreciate it. Where can we go for more information on MS and uh, for people to see you on tour? A couple places uh, for MS. You can go to sharedsolutions.com. Uh, you can also go to bandagainstms.org, bandagainstms.org, uh, which is our, our charity website. And uh, for as far as our tour goes, claywalker.com will get you just about all the information that you want. And follow me on, on Facebook and uh, like us on Twitter. I, I spend a lot of time on Twitter and a lot of time on Facebook. I actually enjoy the direct dialogue with the fans. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Clay. I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to speak with me this morning. We look forward to seeing you on May 27th and on tour. Well, Candace, I hope to see you in Modesto. I would love for you to be my guest. Um, I'll take care of your tickets, and I assure you there will be good seats. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much, Clay. I appreciate it. Thank you.